After a win and a loss on day one, Emirates Team New Zealand had their sights set firmly on 2-0 and oh on the second day of racing, a big ask against SoftBank Team Japan and Britain's Ben Ainsley Racing. Fired up by their six-second loss to Oracle, the Kiwis looked rock-solid and right on the pace, both victories driven by sound tactics and sheer boat speed to achieve the outcome they were seeking. You know, it's almost a, a relief to sort of come in with a day like that, to be honest. There was uh, a lot of really shifty, wobbly uh, puffs out there today, and um, as we saw with the other racing, I think, you know, there was uh, snakes and ladders everywhere you went, so it definitely wasn't over till it was over. But just really difficult day to keep sailing the boat accurately the whole day, because the, with the puffs and the lulls, um, you need to give yourself a little bit of wobble room so you didn't touch down or, or get the hull too high. So um, from a trimming perspective and a steering perspective, quite a difficult one, but very much a, a heads out of the boat type of day. Yeah, it's an incredibly shifty place to sail. I mean, there's not many days here that you say, oh, it's a pretty steady day. It's, it's just you're sort of rating the shiftiness and the unsteadiness of the wind every day. So it's, um, it is tricky to you know, keep your eyes out of the boat and uh, really try and mow the boat for the different uh, you know, wind strengths you got and the different angles of breeze. You know, today we would have had anywhere from 8 to 16 or 17 knots. So it's, um, you know, it's really hard to get your boat set up for that the whole time. So you just got to really deal with what you got and, uh, and mow the, the boat accordingly. Really got to work on those starts. It's um, sort of letting us down a little bit, but at the same time it's pleasing to know that, you know, even if we do get behind at the start, we can come back. So, um, you know, we're just, just starting to get into our groove and starting to sail the boat nicely. So really happy. Yes, we uh, got a, a little early entry penalty there. We were sort of lined up in a big lull and uh, you know, saw a big, big gust of pressure coming just as we sort of took off and it was a little bit too late to sort of shut the boat down before entering. It was a, about a three or four knot increase in pressure just as we sort of got going. So unfortunately, um, you know, by the time the numbers catch up and you're going off your timer, um, yeah, we're just a fraction early. But um, good lesson there again. And um, on those puffy, shifty days, that margin for wobble, um, you need to have it. Emirates Team New Zealand face Artemis tomorrow. The Swedes fresh from inflicting the first defeat of the regatta on cup holders Oracle.